focus. I have been doing well, working on this look. Kind of a runway editorial kind of thing. After looking at oh I don't know. Let's see. I have purchased probably About six or seven September issues, and what I look for most of the time, or what I always try to get, is the September issue of Vogue. I'm just putting things kind of out of the way, because I wanted to talk about looking at some of the stuff in front of me. Oops. Mm. These are my lipstick boots. And I would show you, I don't know if I can, but that way. Yeah. Well, it's over in that direction. So it's just turning back on me. But anyway, I'll tell you about it later. It is a section in room that I am doing for just that. I have a couple of things here. I think they're dupes for something, but I'm not sure. So we'll start with those right quick, and then I'll get into the lipstick dupes for as long as this thing will let me go on talking about it. Now, I have to go in my notes, and maybe it's in there. But this is NYC's Blue Rose. Got this at the, I want to say I got it at Dollar Tree, but I'm not sure anymore. Yeah, I think I did. I should have gotten two. But anyway, yeah, this is Blue Rose 405B by NYC. I don't know whether or not it's supposed to be a dupe for show orchids or... There's another one, and I can't remember. Up the Amp, I think. One of those two. I'm not sure which one. When I find out whichever one it is, then I will place the sticker on there so I'll know exactly what it's for when I pick it up. I think I've heard somebody say something about this CoverGirl Cheekers blush in Pretty Peach being possibly a dupe for something. I don't know what... If anybody knows, let me know. Now, I will try to make the list going down the thing in the diva box about what lipstick goes with what. So you can basically shop your stash and see if you have some of these same things where you don't have to gold spending great goo gobs of money to get this, that, and the other. So, yeah. I'll start with this one because these two don't fit into this little case right now. So I'll have to do something else. This is NYC's Retro Red, which I did find in Walmart. And it is for Max Heartless. That is from the Venomous Villains collection. It's a red. And then, this guy here is a dupe for Chanel Rouge Coco Taffetas Rose, number 16. I don't remember all of the videos that I watched to get my dupes collection together, but in the future I may have to go back and forth into the diva box and put who said what. That way you can find their videos. So if I find a video, I'll put the link in there. But that's what that one looks like. And this is Gardenia 636 from NYX Cosmetics. So there's that. Then there's quite a few Revlons. They're kind of over here in the corner. This is for Max Chili. I don't know how long this is going to 
tape, so just bear with me. And it is Revlon in the Red 007. There I go. Okay. The next one is still in, still in the Revlon. It's a matte, and it is 003 Mauve It Over for Velvet Petty, which is a matte color. Caps are on really well. That's what that is. I will put what I did to my face in the box, too. This is 002 Pink Tout. Again, another matte. It is for Please Me plus Snob or Pink Plaid. So that's about three of them. Three different ones. And usually when I get dupes, I try to write down the name of the person who said what. I just don't have that list in front of me. This one is for Russian Red. It's called Love That Red. It is a Moondrop lipstick. Yes, I have used that one in the past. The Revlons are all brand... The other three Revlons I just did are all brand new and haven't been touched yet. This is 020 Baby Pink and Revlon. The Color Burst, I believe, is what this is. The Quilted packaging with the little doodad on the top. And this one is for Viva Glam Gaga number one. That's that piece. So there. And then the next one is 075 Peach, which is for NARS Love Devotion. This has yet to be used. I have a couple of Avanti colors here. This is a dupe for what I think would be a dupe for Mac Marange, and it's called Poppy. Avanti is mostly sold in Atlanta. This one is for... I don't know what the original name of the color was, but this is a dupe that I found in my Vivanti collection for Hello Kitty Lavender Whip. And I'm... Seriously, it is so hard to see what these things look like, but that's that. And then... We've got... A an elf color here in Classy 00802 and their dollar lipsticks and this one is for Mac Angel. Oh, there we go. It's watching the colors out, so it's like I need to go back and do the other ones again. Almost. That's that Revlon color. That's one of them. I have to put my hand behind the thing. Yeah, that's the pink plaid one. That's the velvet teddy. Bear with me. That's the chili. That's the Russian red. Here's a Glam Gaga number one. I know there's another one that's like a nude color. And this one is the NARS Love Devotion. Again, dupes. So I'll give you the original things that they go for. This one, the Heartless. And this one is Taffetus Rose. Sorry about that, guys. And this is the pink that I'm looking for. I need a dupe for I need a dupe name for this. It's either Show Orchid or Up the Amp. I'm not sure which one. Hopefully someone can tell me. Alright. 
got several more to go. Let's just go back into... This will be for petals and peacocks. This is Louisiana. It's a mixed color. It's a little melted. I had it near a light bulb one night, and I forgot how hot that thing got before I changed to my CFL. Yeah, that one's for Petals and Peacocks, Louisiana. And this one is... And Petals and Peacocks came from the... Oh, Lord. What is that? That English thing. Whatever. With the mouth smack hat. Oh, gee whiz. I have forgotten. Anyway, this is another dude for Viva Glam. Gaga Strawberry Milk from NYX. So that would be Viva Glam number one. Then there are, and I don't think they sell these anymore. But and then I, I also recently found out from the, you know, looking through my little book booklet for the hip collection when it first came out, and they gave you the booklet with all of the shades for everything, from the eyeshadow to the lipstick, lip gloss so on and so forth, before it grew into all of this other stuff that they've got going on. So the lipsticks that I have here are 854 Gutsy and 748 Heroic. They don't sell these anymore. You might still be able to find them online. But this one, Heroic, is for fun bathing. That's the Mac to the Beach collection. It is a bronzy color. Very cute. And then the other one is also to the beach color. That's the gutsy one. And it is called Thrills. And that's what that looks like. This guy here <coughs> is a Kiss New York color. Magenta. It's for Violetta, Violetta, whichever way you want to pronounce it. And it is from... Venomous Villain. That's what that color looks like. Then, we have Snow White, which is a color from NYX to look like Max DuBonnet. And then we have here Very Rich, which is by Milani, to look like Mac Red. Next one is from Maybelline 015, born with it to look like Angel. And a couple from, well, one, two, three, I got four from Remo, the rest are from Wet n Wild. This is 006, pink champagne to look like real doll from Barbie. The Barbie Loves Max collection. I actually think it's kind of cool having most of the dudes come from collections more so than just the regular stuff, but whatever, that's just me. 070 Airy Fairy is to look like Cream Cup. There you go. The next one is. Metallic Seduction 126. Those are all... The, the last two I've shown are Rimmel. Okay. This was also a Rimmel. And this for Can't Resist. It is a Sheen Supreme. I think this is one of the colors that Emily Noel talks about quite a bit. When she goes into her kind of darker colors. When she's talking about the berries and burgundies and things like that. This is 620 Spotlight Beige from Rimmel, which has been replaced. It is supposed to be like Max Shy Girl. If there's another one that it's supposed to be for, feel free to let me know. Okay, the last eight that I have here are all wet and wild. This one is supposed to be like 
smoked purple. It is 919B. Vamp it up. I don't even think they sell this one anymore. Smoked purple. If I can find another one, I will definitely get it, but whatever. 907C. Mob out of here. It's supposed to be like speed dial. Next is 903, just peachy, it's supposed to be like cross wires, another MAC color. And usually I'll have down below the color whether or not it's supposed to be a pro long wear, a matte, a frost, a cream sheen, sheen supreme, or whatever. I don't really have that for these. 901B Think Pink for Viva Glam Gaga. So I've got at least three or four dupes for that one. Even though it's really not a color I can wear without... It's, it's a pinky nude, so I have to work with it. 902C, which is Bear It All, is supposed to be like Till Tomorrow. Thank you guys for bearing with me for this long. There's only three more, and then I'm going to shut this off, and then I'll go on to whatever I'm going to do next. This one is supposed to be like Max Speak Louder. I have no idea what type of finish that one has, but this is 520E, and I don't know, just 520E. I don't know what the regular color is for. Because wet and wild colors... There are wet and wild colors that actually go with the, the correspond with the numbers, but it takes a minute to actually find them. I think they're on the site somewhere. I'm not sure. What is this? Well, anyway, this is 511B, and it is supposed to be like a cream sheen that Max has, and it is called Lickable. That's the color name. So there's that one. And the last one is supposed to be like Max. Fabby, which is a frost. This is 502A. And it's supposed to be like Fabby. So, there's that. Most of the stuff, the people who have talked about them, the ladies who have talked about them, the lists and everything that I've gathered, I try to get as much information as I can, like I said, about the different finishes and such just to kind of keep up with everything. And all I'm doing is putting them, trying to put them back in here. Some semblance of order. Maybe I can put the other two in. I don't know yet. But, anyway, that's it for these. I have a container that has other dupes in it, like shadows and blushes, bronzers that I've come across, and it's not always just MAC. Sometimes it might be something as far as Stila is concerned. It might be a dupe for something NARS. It might even be a dupe for something Chanel. Like I said, they're all contained over there, and of course, I've got a lot of my coastal scents, and the what do you call it, the, for the paint pots and liners and so on. So it, it's all just a matter of seeing what works and what fits and stuff like that. So, yeah, now that I've finished boring you for the day, I hope I can upload this video at some point. Sometimes it's weak. So those two are not going to fit. But that's fine. I'll redo all that good stuff. Anyway, like I said, if I don't put the information in right away as I upload the video, I will actually come back in and work that out as time goes by so you can kind of like refer back to it and see what you have or, you know, what you may have in, like I said, your own stash. Just shop your stash and then go from there. So you won't have to spend crazy amounts of money. 
if you want to know about any more of the dupes that I've collected, let me know. So, until next time, thank you.